A typical adoring welcome for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at New Year's Eve celebrations. The spectacular show came on a day when North Korea unveiled what it called new super-large rocket missile launchers and after it fired three more missiles into the Sea of Japan. South Korea's military called the test a grave provocation. 2022 was a record year for North Korean missile tests, with around three times as many launches as the previous record in 2017. And it looks to be much the same for 2023. A New Year's Day test was followed by an announcement on state TV, saying North Korea needs to greatly increase its nuclear arsenal and that it must develop another intercontinental ballistic missile system to counter threats from the United States and South Korea. Japanese officials say this November test indicated North Korea could hit anywhere in the continental United States with a nuclear warhead. In October, a North Korean missile flew over northern Japan, triggering alarms. I know. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is now looking to double its defence spending by 2027. And there is a growing debate in South Korea about whether it should develop its own nuclear weapons. This past week, South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol said his country's military readiness is greatly lacking after it failed to shoot down five North Korean drones that flew into southern airspace. In recent years, Donald Trump's attempt to engage closely with Kim came to nothing and sanctions have had little effect either. It appears as though North Korea will continue to be a growing headache for East Asia and the rest of the world. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.